In this tutorial, I'll be describing the advantages of priorities in a Mazatrol turning program. I'll start by navigating to the program page with my completed program called up. There are several ways to add or alter priorities. I could select program edit and scroll through the program, changing or assigning priorities as I go. Or I can just go to the program layout screen to view and edit priorities. The program layout page makes the process of assigning and managing priorities much easier. On the program layout screen, I can view the layout of the program in different ways. I can view only the process control units in the program to get a single page listing of all major process control only units. Selecting all processes shows a list of all processes in the program. With these processes displayed, I can split the processes further, making it clear what is done using each head of the machine. This is my preferred method of display. I feel it gives me the clearest view of how my program will be run. As you can see, the columns on the left are everything done in head 1. The columns on the right show everything done in head 2. The order shown is the actual order the program will run. The program starts by assigning head single 1, then turns the face, drills the center, bores the ID and so on just as I programmed it. Looking at the sequence, I can see that I index to tool 1A for rough facing, then tool 5A for finish facing. I then call several other tools to drill and bore the part. Then, again I call tool 1A for roughing the OD, and tool 5A for finishing the OD. Obviously, the part would process faster if I avoided calling these tools twice. This is what priorities are for. The menu at the bottom of the screen, shows the various things I can do to assign or edit priorities. The first thing I want to do, is set the rough OD cut to run immediately after the rough facing tool, saving one tool change. I can do this two ways. I can simply enter a 1 in both the rough face and the rough OD sequences individually. Or, much easier, I can highlight the priority number box on the first use of tool 1A. Select priority number assign, enter 1 on the keypad and press input. This automatically sets all uses of this tool, in this process group, to the same priority. The next thing I would like to do is drill the part through. So I'll move to the T drill edge sequence, and enter a 2 so it will be the second tool run. Moving back to the finish face sequence, I'll again select priority number assign, and enter a 3. Moving to the general in sequence for rough boring, I'll select priority number assign, and enter a 4. At this point, nothing has actually changed in the program. If I highlight store to hold my edits, and go back to my program, you can see that nothing has changed in the program. Going back to program layout, the order of the program is still the same. To make my entries effective, I have to select program right, and OK. As you can see, my program has been reordered on the layout page to run in the desired order. It will rough the face, then rough the OD, then drill, then finish the face and the OD, then cut the bore. If I go back to the program, you can see that priorities have been entered as needed to run the program in the desired order. It's important to note that the original programmed order has not changed. Only the order in which the tools will run has changed. Going back to program layout, I can see that I can also save two tool changes on head 2 by combining the rough and finish cuts of the face and OD sequences there. Using the same procedure, I'll assign priority number 1 to the rough cuts and priority number 2 to the finish cuts. Again, I have to select program right to make these edits effective. I can stop here, since the priority assigned tools will run first, followed by the program ordered tools, but I consider this untidy. I don't like to have tools with unassigned priorities, after tools with assigned priorities. I can fix this with a process end unit in the program, or, just go ahead and assign priorities to all the tools. Another option, would be to use delay priority. Delay priority actually assigns the last tools to run in a process. If I select delay priority and enter one for the grooving tool, then select delay priority and enter two for the threading tool, I'm actually telling the control to make sure these tools run last. When I select program right, you can see the tool order didn't change but now everything has been assigned for head one. I'll finish by setting the last tool on head two to a three, so it is also assigned. Make sure you press program right to finalize the process of assigning priorities or your changes could be lost. 
Be very careful with priorities. It would be easy to do something like changing the order of the boring bar and the drill, creating a situation where the boring bar tries to plunge into a hole that hasn't been drilled yet, causing a hazardous condition for both the machine and the operator. In all cases, verify the order shown here is correct. And when possible, use the graphics and simulation functions to ensure the order of the tools is correct. As you can see, the priorities and the program layout screen can be a great way to optimize your programs and getting the most out of your Mazak Turning Center.